metre dash, Australia's Betty Cuthbert moves up in the next one side lane, making strides for the home court. Not since 1952 has Australia enjoyed this level of Olympic success.
The Mojo Homes mid-year sale is here with up to $85,000 in savings on your new home. More inclusions, more packages, more cash discounts and so much more. Visit your nearest display home to get much more with Mojo Homes. Montgomery Homes have been building houses in New South Wales for over 35 years. And that's how you know you can always rely on and feel at home with Montgomery Homes. live their best life because Supercoat is made with our very own smart blend of high quality ingredients plus 22 essential vitamins and minerals nourishing dogs to be at their best Supercoat I've only got this $890 extra that H&R block got me well it's a general shop right? huh? this <laughs> takes time don't do it all yourself switch to H&R block and you could get more for sure Morning. Try this at home. reaching for period pads to deal with we tenant pads might look the same but they're designed to work differently so you can stay dry for up to 12 hours to upgrade your protection tenor. best sheds up to 40 percent cheaper american bonds for 8,900. 15 percent off sale is on right now at best sheds call best sheds on 1-800-15-17-18 or check out our range at bestsheds.com.au Welcome back to Australian Outdoor Living, home of the Backyard Games, where sisters Emma and Taylor are putting their new artificial grass to its pieces with free installation of mum and dad are winners too. This is what profile animals look like around here, doing the coffee run, or the end one, finding yourself the perfect park. So go on, take your pick from over 250 flights a week from Newcastle Airport. Ah, that's the new way. Hands and block and bar stock a large range of Yeti products. From coffee mugs, big coffers, and also the new Yeti luggage range. Hands and block and bar have got it all. Yeti at Hands and block and bar.
the Australian Caravan Centre, you'll find your dream caravan, offering brand new, pre-owned, off-road, touring and luxury caravans. Our friendly staff will find the caravan that suits your needs and budget. Australian Caravan Centre, for the brand new castle. We're still the same people, we still have the same teams, same prices, but in a lot of cases. We just have a more comfortable showroom to showcase it. And let's have a look at the medal tally after day three. Japan is on top, while Australia is sitting in fourth with nine medals, five of them gold. Still ahead, today's other news, including a deadly crash, claims two lives north of Moree. Class emotional scenes in court as a man is sentenced for killing casino teenager Ned Gronon. And turbulent times, the government on standby to help Rex. Bigger battle, mini mini Mario Mario with flower, you're the chosen. It's Mr. Robert Cobra's over the last four years. Precious to you, protect it with us. Joy, protect precious. With so many choices on Booking.com, there are so many Tina Fey's I could be. So I hired body doubles. Call Mom Tina at the villa. Or call Mom Tina at the chalet. It's going to be a nope to the slopes. Booking.com, Booking. Yeah. Get more zeros in your life. Win tomorrow's USA Mega Lotto worth over five hundred million dollars. Yep, five hundred million. Draw closes ten a.m. tomorrow. Play now at lotteryoffice.com.au. Best sheds up to forty percent cheaper. American Martin Bay thousand nine hundred. Fifteen percent off sale is on right now at Best Sheds. Call Best Sheds on one eight hundred fifteen seventeen eighty, or check out our range at bestsheds.com.au. Unwind with our two-night heritage stay at Duntry League, including breakfast, a two-course dinner, cheese platter and wine sampling. Why are you there? Why not play around at the prestigious 18-hour golf course? Find out more at duntryleague.com.au. <laughs> to help me out. Girls Weekend Tina at a villa. Cool Mom Tina loves holiday homes with a view. Oh, Tina. Wild Tina booked a farm stay to ride this horse. Glenn Close? With millions of possibilities. You can book whoever you want to be. Booking.com. Booking. Yeah. I love you, Lord. Australia's official retail partner, powered by Snapdragon. There were emotional scenes in Lismore Supreme Court today as a young man who fatally stabbed a teenage boy learned his fate. Ned Grono's family slammed his killer, calling him evil, and later said the sentence handed to him wasn't enough. Forever grieving, Ned Grono's family and friends united and looking for justice. A beautiful son, Ned, was beautifully, brutally executed while he slept in his bed. Kind of been hell. Yeah, it's been really, really hard. Yeah. It's been really horrible to lose one of your closest mates to such a tragic, yeah, 
tragic incident. In June 2022, the 17-year-old was sleeping at his casino home when he was fatally stabbed 12 times. Then 18-year-old Rain Aylwood, drunk and on drugs, carried out the execution-style killing, motivated by an unsubstantiated assault claim. Our family has been condemned to a lifeline sent lifelong sentence of unimaginable horror from which we will never escape. Today at Lisbon Supreme Court, Aylwood learned his fate, a judge noting he had a difficult childhood while accepting his remorse. Now 21 years old, Aylwood was sentenced to 18 years behind bars and will be eligible for parole after 12. The sentence met with an emotional outburst from Ned's family. While his mother telling Aylwood, you're pure, pure evil, and may you rot in hell. As you kiss your child goodnight, remember the Australian justice system values their life at only 18 years in prison. Ned's own life cut short, as was his dream to travel. His loved ones now making that happen in their own unique way. Ned's mum Julie had the idea to paint these rocks and kind of help him travel around the world like he never really got to do that. Can't even like fathom or explain how beautiful he was. And he was so one of a kind. Andrew Jew, NBN News. Two truck drivers have been killed in a head-on collision north of Moree. Emergency services were called to the Newell Highway just after 10 o'clock last night. The male drivers of the B-doubles aged 25 and 63 died on impact. The highway remains closed from Bogabilla Road to the Bruxner Highway intersection. For more than 20 years, Rex Airlines has been a lifeline for regional and remote communities. But tonight, the airline is in crisis, suspending bookings on some flights, and the government says it's standing by to lend assistance. Mark Burrows has the latest. Three months ago, budget carrier Bonza went belly up. Now regional favourite Rex is on the brink. Bleeding cash around a million dollars a week. Shares are in a trading hold ahead of an announcement tomorrow about the airline's future. Rex has suspended bookings on its 737 services, but tickets for its regional flights served by the airline's smaller prop fleet are still on sale. 2,000 jobs are now on the line. The federal government seems determined to keep the airline flying and is hinting at a bailout. An indication of how bad the airline's finances are, flight crew have reportedly been refused entry to a Brisbane hotel because of unpaid bills. Council has responded after a leaked report raised fresh questions about the multi-million dollar upgrade of South Newcastle Beach. The study pointed out defects in the new skate park, but council says all the issues have now been fixed. It's been a long road to completion for the South Newcastle Beach upgrade. The first contractor went bust, pushing the price from 12 to $20 million and construction time from two to four years. But Newcastle's deputy mayor promises the work is now almost complete. This project is imminent. We are talking about the next couple of weeks. However, an independent report commissioned in early July and leaked to NBN News gave the skate park a very poor rating, saying it was in need of immediate action. All of the smaller items, the defects that are, that are identified as far as uh, concrete items, they've all been rectified. The project also includes new amenities, coastal stabilisation and increased lighting and accessibility. But not everyone is happy. It's exploded in cost. It's a project that no one wanted or asked for. We've been crying out for upgrades uh, to roads out here in the western suburbs, and yet somewhere along the line, the Labor Council decided that this was more important. The beachside location is one of the skate park's unique characteristics, but critics say it also adds harsh environmental factors that could cost ratepayers in the long run. It's a high-stress, difficult environment. You can see even the railings behind us have been damaged in the storms recently. It's going to be a high-maintenance facility. Today, the Deputy Mayor pushed back against the criticism. Well, it's not abnormal that in the lead-up to an election, people will be looking for opportunities to score cheap political points. They've spent longer building the skate bowl than it took to build the first stage of John Hunter Hospital. Uh, I suppose it will be finished before the end of the century. Tony Ambrogetti, NBN News. Plans to extend Newcastle's light rail could be a step closer, with the state government reportedly buying a block of land on Hunter Street. 
Developer Glenn Greedy says Transport for New South Wales purchased a 1,200 square metre site behind Dairy Farmers Corner from him. And that a car park originally proposed for the block will no longer go ahead. The purchase is seen as making a light rail extension to Broadmeadow easier to execute. Cessnock business owners are on alert after a string of stores were targeted by thieves over the weekend. Police say patrols of the area have been ramped up and arrests are being made. Cracking open the door with a crowbar, then taking off on his bike, a hooded figure tests if he's tripped any alarms at Cessnock's Royal Chicken. Twenty minutes later, he's back, snooping through the kitchen before raiding the till. <laughs> And just when he looks like he's about to leave, he returns for one last handful of cash. It's hard. It's, it's just crazy. So you, you do everything you can to try and protect your property, your businesses, and these people just think it's free for all. Soon after, across the road, the Express Lube Auto Service Centre was also broken into. Phone hotspot at Cessna Village the following day. <laughs> But the thief comes back two hours later before making off with cash. Flirt Adult Store also targeted. Uh, about five or six times now. Um, and yeah, they just keep trying to break in through the back door. It's cost us over $1,000 in repairs at the moment. Police say between Friday and Sunday, eight break inventors were reported in Cessnock, with patrols of the area now increased in response. Officers charged a 29-year-old man over an incident at Cessnock Village, accusing him of possessing a knife and housebreaking tools and smashing the door with a shopping trolley. Centre management says it's recently increased security and is working to maintain a vigilant response. Cessnock shoppers now hoping that those measures and the police response works. He'll come around and there'll be something else that's broken or busted. It definitely seems to be a normal thing around here. Race Rutama, NBN News. It's described as an expressionist and abstract take on Blackbutt Reserve. The first of three new murals has been unveiled, designed to complement upgrades to the Orchard Town Road shopping precinct at New Lambton. It was designed and completed by artist Olus One. The $4.5 million upgrades were funded by the state and council. There'll be plenty of young talent on show at Newcastle Civic Theatre from tomorrow in Aspire's annual music, dance and drama performance. More than 150 students from the Maitland Newcastle Catholic Diocese's creative program will take part. So the show is called Disconnected. It's, I would say it's really about just being an active listener in the world. You know, I live quite far from Newcastle, so I think it's really exciting just to have this opportunity and do something fun like this. Tickets are on sale for Disconnected's four other performances, the last on Saturday. As we get ready to exit the middle month of winter, those polar winds just keep on biting. It was another icy start right throughout the Upper Hunter, topping out generally into the mid-teens today. Next, the King expresses his shock following a deadly stabbing attack at a children's dance workshop in the UK. A critical moment looms for borrowers Will there be another interest rate rise? And facing two oncoming trucks, a driver's close call near the Queensland border. Morning. Let's try this at home.
this isn't your kind of stone, this isn't a sufficient stylish, that's not your dog, and they're not your bellhanks. The driver of the carriers here, aren't you, Steve? Don't you know? Ever driven a better car than yours? Now you can. With so many holiday homes on Booking.com, there are so many Tina Fey's I could be. So I hired body doubles. Wild Tina at the apartment. <laughs> Booking.com, Booking. Yeah. Best sheds up to forty percent cheaper. Triple garage is eight thousand six hundred. Four car garage seven thousand two fifty. Fifteen percent off sale is on right now at Best Sheds. Call Best Sheds on one eight hundred fifteen seventeen eighty. Thanks to Light and Easy, managing your weight and enjoying a better quality of life has never been easier. Whether you want to kickstart your weight loss using a combination of high-protein breakfast shakes and delicious food on Light and Easy's Jumpstart Pro Plan, or you simply want to enjoy your choice of over 235 chef-designed ready-to-eat meals, Light and Easy will help you achieve your goals. Discover a flexible and affordable option that's made for you at lightandeasy.com.au. At Bunnings, having the widest range means more household names and more leading greens, all under one roof. Only a fruit one, two leading order liquid, only 35 for the line. Right at the 18th and the Central's kit, $169. Philips LED Vinegar Gold, just $17.95. Where you find a competitor's lower price on the same stocked item will beat it by 10 cents. Do you reckon I'll be a household name after this? Bunnings Warehouse! Lowest prices are just the beginning. Two children are dead and a teenager is in custody, accused of the most horrific of crimes, storming a community centre and stabbing kids. The victims were at a Taylor Swift dance workshop in the UK, and a warning the following story contains distressing details. School holidays in the seaside town of Southport and an unthinkable evil act unfolds. Multiple children stabbed at a community centre during a Taylor Swift yoga and dance workshop. The attack happening right on pickup time. The mother that I was just consoling, just the look on her face, just she knew something happened to a child. It's like, oh my gosh, how do you even comprehend? Two children have died as a result of the injuries sustained. Nine others injured, six critically. Two adults are also fighting for life, stabbed while trying to protect the children. I'm screaming down the phone, crying. Petaini, we need you now. Ambulances flooding the scene, helicopters transporting the tiny victims. Police made a quick arrest. A child taken into custody. The boy, just 17. The king releasing a statement saying he has been profoundly shocked, sending heartfelt condolences to the families affected. There are so many emotions here in Southport. Shock, sadness and anger. But there's also a lot of questions. Chiefly, why? I don't think you can really put into words something like this. It, it's some alien to, to most people. It's, it's terrifying, isn't it? In Southport, Jessica Millwood, NBN News. Donald Trump is set to give an interview to the FBI as part of its investigation into the attempt on his life. Authorities have now revealed Thomas Crook's researched mass shooting events and information on improvised explosive devices in the lead up to the attack. Leave immediately. That's the warning for Australians in Lebanon after a weekend rocket strike on Israel that's prompted airlines to ground flights. Israel has vowed to retaliate over the suspected Hezbollah attack, which killed 12 teenagers. The Department of Foreign Affairs is now telling Australians to get out of the country with fears Beirut Airport could be closed at short notice. Mortgage holders will be sweating on tomorrow's inflation figures, which will help the Reserve Bank decide its next move on interest rates. Right now, economists say there's a 25% chance of a rate rise, but that could be about to change. Oh, yes, yes.
In a city centre for hearing impaired children, playtime. You show me what you're doing, Banjo. With the Prime Minister. How to be a Prime Minister? Got to study hard. You need a little bit of luck. Too. Australian mortgage holders are about to have their luck tested as well. New inflation figures out tomorrow that will be pivotal in any future interest rate rises. In the numbers tomorrow we're expecting inflation to be pretty persistent. Currently CPI, the measure of inflation, sits at 3.6%. The RBA previously forecasting the June quarter to come in at 3.8%. If it's 38 or less, then I think that we have a reprieve for now. If it's over 4%, I think that they have no choice but to fire off another hike. The Reserve Bank Board meets next week with a rates decision Tuesday. Housing and rents are two of the biggest drivers of inflation and tonight there's confirmation the housing challenge is only getting worse. New well, ABS data showing just 13,237 dwellings were approved in June. That's down 6.5% month on month and down 3.7% on June last year. The last financial year had the lowest number of approvals in more than a decade. This is a significant shortfall on where we need to be. Tradespeople are working on uh, bridges and uh, 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 toll roads and uh, metro stations and uh, they're not available to build homes at the moment. A problem now and into the future. Charles Croucher, NBN News. It's often thought of as recession-proof, but fast food appears to be under pressure and the golden arches are in the firing line. Finance editor Chris Coller explains. There are 40,000 McDonald's restaurants around the world and for four years they've mostly been growing their sales, but not anymore. For the first time since 2020, same-store sales are falling, according to an update to Wall Street last night. The CEO mentioned Australia as being part of the problem and admits customers think the prices are too high. And if McDonald's is hurting, you can bet smaller fast food companies are struggling even more. Carl's Jr. has put the 24 Australian stores it owns into administration. It had originally planned to open 300. Regional Express remained the focus on our market. Shares were halted again today as the future of the airline is unclear. Qantas shares, meanwhile, rose as the Rex crisis unfolds. And this evening, one Aussie dollar is buying 65 US cents and 60 euro cents. A driver who survived a frightening moment on an outback road near the Queensland New South Wales border. Not only was it wet and dark, he suddenly found himself facing two semi trailers. Thankfully, his vehicle somehow slipped between the trucks just outside Gundawindi. Time now to move to sport. Adam Murray joins us. Adam, athletes from our neck of the woods are in the thick of it right now in Paris. Good evening, guys, especially Alice Arnott. She had an Olympic debut to remember on the hockey field. All the hops from around the grounds next. Plus, trouble for the men's triathlon. We're live from Paris with the latest. And two tennis titans play possibly their last matchup at Roland Garros. <laughs> This is Matthew, send off for the Paris Olympics.
It's a place where special moments are made. It's a place where friends become family, and community is the heart of the village. Cameron Glen is a unique approach to retirement living and aged care, where you can live independently in beautifully appointed villas and still get support and care when you need it. Right now, villas are starting from just $445,000. So live each day your way at Cameron Glen. Go online to find out more. Fold them, break them, smear them, swap them, bend them. Free yourself from the hassle of glasses with Hunter Laser Vision. Can I just have your attention, please? This is Matthew. Send off for the Paris Olympics. <laughs> The Kookaburras and Hockey Roos quest for Olympic gold is well on track with both on top of their Olympic pools. The Aussie sides each have two wins from two players from northern New South Wales shining on the Paris stage. The Kookaburras didn't waste any time in their clash with Ireland. We're and we're scores! The Irish fired back to level the score, but Blake Govers ultimately sealed the Aussies' second win. <laughs> North Hockey Club in Newcastle watching on as locals Kai Willits and Matt Dawson also starred in the 2-1 victory. Meanwhile, Willow Tree's Alice Arnett showed no signs of a calf injury that saw her sideline for the Hockey Roos opening match. Her delayed Olympic debut made even sweeter when she nailed this shot in a 4-0 win over Great Britain. Oh, and Australia makes it 2-0. Brilliant stuff, opportunistic. Our women's rugby sevens team dominated its quarterfinal against the Irish. The 40-7 win rocketing the Aussies into a semi-final showdown with Canada. Narrabri's Laura Gooley was in action again as the women's quad skulls battled through their repercharge heat. A third behind Sweden and China will see them line up in the B final tomorrow night. While Dungog's gold medalist Spencer Turin had his first hit out in the men's eight, who were pipped at the post by Great Britain, but progressed to the repercharge round on Thursday. And halfway across the world, the swell was pumping at Tiapu. Representing Japan, Lennox Head's Connor O'Leary went head-to-head -head with Aussie Ethan Ewing. And despite posting a solid eight, O'Leary couldn't catch a break in the rapidly changing conditions. I got really fogged, spent most of the time underwater, so no, it was... It was annoying that the wind came up, but uh, it's all good. It was good to be out there. Ewing progressing through to the quarterfinals. Montana Claire, NBN News. Basketball legend Lauren Jackson has described the Opals' loss to Nigeria as a disaster. The rusty Australians were defeated 75-62 in their Olympic opener. Considered a strong medal chance, they now face a fight just to advance past the group stage. Today, Christina Hearn joins us live. Christine, when will it take place now? Adam, the men's triathlon is now going to take place tomorrow morning after the women's event. This comes after organisers tested the water quality of the River Seine in the early hours of this morning and they found after recent rain the readings were above acceptable limits. This of course just took place hours before the men were actually due at the starting line which meant our Aussie triathletes waking up here in the Games Village this morning were told they were no longer going to be competing today. We had an event a couple of years ago because there was a croc sighting up in Port Douglas. So, you know, they're Australians. The boys got an extra three hours sleep, so they were pretty happy with that. Our triathletes haven't even managed to train in the River Seine yet because it's just been deemed unsafe. And there is no guarantee that the events will actually take place tomorrow. There'll be more water quality testing. If it has to be postponed again, it will run on Friday. And then if it has to be postponed again, they may look at reducing it to a duathlon. And Adam, that would be a huge blow for organisers, given that the city has spent over $2 billion in cleaning up the River Seine. A lot of money. Thank you, Christine. 
Four gold medals are up for grabs for Australia in Paris tonight. Our women's rugby sevens team will be hoping to qualify for the final before attention turns to the pool. Kayla McEwen and Iona Anderson are gunning for 100 backstroke glory. Elijah Winnington is in the 800 freestyle final, while our men's 4x200 relay team is also in contention. More sport after the break, including bombshell reports of a big-name departure from the Knights. For the 100 built-in safety features around you, for truly surprise-free driving, all new Pavel Jolien Hybrid, truly surprising. With all these Aussie naval oranges high in vitamin C, Sick days won't stand a chance. Naval oranges, now on sale at Aldi. Aldi, good different. Go beyond the South Sunday Single Reef. Book your stay now and safe. Just one of Journey Beyond's iconic Australian travel experiences. Search Journey Beyond today. It's so done very wrong in Australia when the corporate profits of our largest companies are the biggest they've ever been. When too many Australians can barely afford rent, we can fix the housing crisis with a mega profits tax, which will build 53,000 public and affordable homes each year. Unless things change, what does the future look like for our kids? For us? Authorized at Smith Construction for Australian Maritime Employees, you're all open. Best sheds up to 40% cheaper. Farm sheds 11,990. Industrial buildings only 18,600. 15% off sale is all right now at Best Sheds. All Best Sheds on 1800 151780. You can do this, Dave. Massive sensitive was just a little off. No one saw it. Absolutely no one. Open the door. Open the door, Dave. Open. We've got you. Don't join a gym. Join Planet Fitness. have refuted claims Jackson Hastings could lead the hunter for the Super League. Commentator Andrew Voss reporting his possible departure on radio this morning. I can report though from north of England today. I don't know whether it's being actually signed, sealed and delivered here in the Australian press, but from my mates in the north of England, Jackson Hastings has signed with the Leeds Rhinos. Wow, wow, wow. Um, Hastings has been dropped to reserve grade this weekend after Newcastle's back-to-back -back defeats. Phoenix Crossland will replace Hastings at halfback for Sunday's clash with the Panthers. It's the Knights' fifth halves combination this season. It's been real disappointing, the, you know, the errors we've been making, but um, there's no better sort of test to, to um, regain that confidence in against the Panthers. Fletcher Sharp has been recalled to the sign. He'll play on the wing. Leishon Albert Jones admits it took the NRLW side days to recover from its physical opener with the Roosters. She expects the same when the Knights meet the Raiders on Saturday. I don't think they're going to be as easy as what they were like in the trial, um, but they're, they're good sides, so we're going to have to try and bring it to them. The only change to the winning side, Raymond Terrace Rooster, Lily Ann White, will make her debut on the wing. 
Musselbrook is facing a tough task as it looks for back-to-back -back wins in Group 21. The Rams down the Tigers 38-14 last weekend, but next up, they take on the undefeated Thoroughbreds. Greta Brankston and Scone both recorded blowouts, thrashing the Greyhounds and the Devils. The Hunters' Lauren Parker was officially named in Australia's paracycling team for Paris today, adding to her triathlon selection. It means the 35-year-old will be going for not one, but three gold medals. Lauren Parker has a master plan for Paralympic redemption. It's one of the first things you'll see as you enter her gym. That's my gold medal plan that I write my training on every week, my whole week's training plan, and um, that's what I you know, stick to and I tick off each session as I go through. So it's just um, something for me to visualise. The silver medalist in Tokyo in the para triathlon, she was pipped at the post by America's Kendall Gretsch. I don't go out of my way to re-watch it, but it has come up through my socials feed just recently, actually, and I'm like, it's just, it's, it just creates more motivation, really. This time around, it, it'll be different. Parker certainly has the results to back it up, having won 15 straight events since 2021. Added to that, she's also qualified for our paracycling team in the time trial and road race. My training plan hasn't changed too much. I've stuck to my triathlon training plan, and I'm lucky that it, it sort of transfers over to the cycling. In a way, it's easier than going to a complete different sport. Preparation for the Games, though, hasn't been straightforward. I've had uh, up and down preparation for, for Paris. I had a bike accident back in March that... Um, yeah, left me with a few more challenges. That accident at Raymond Terrace had the potential to derail everything. I couldn't believe it, really. Uh, the foot pods on my bike that my feet rest in, mid-ride at 35k an hour, uh, the right one came loose, the four, four bolts came loose and failed, and my foot fell to the road at 35k an hour, and my leg just flung back, and my pelvis and lumbar spine twisted out of place and it's still out of place. Parker leaves for Paris on Sunday. Jets coach Rob Stanton is concerned about his squad's depth, admitting the club needs to sign more strikers ahead of the A-League season. There's a couple of looking at I've found one, I think. Uh, I've had a couple of discussions with some players and uh, it was, wasn't able to get over the line. There's a couple more we're looking at. There's, there's players coming in and that might alter when the window starts to close in Europe. Ben Van Dorsen and Lachlan Bayless are both unavailable for tomorrow night's Australia Cup clash with Rockdale due to international duty. And guys, that's our look at sport. Thanks, Adam. All right, thank you so much, Adam. Well, the weather is set to improve by the weekend. All of your local details heading your way straight after the break. Stay with us. to sell, get a free real estimate of what your home is worth right now. Because realestate.com.au is where more people sell more homes, we'll give you more real home price insights. And when you know what you might get for your home, you can be confident going after your next one. Keep moving with realestate.com.au. Way off the grid. Looks like trouble is just around the corner. Ooh, water and electricity don't mix. I don't know exactly where this EV is going to wind up. That's a mission of the Honda Plug in Hybrid EV. Australian ready. Anyway, we got him through. Car is still moving. Best sheds up to 40% cheaper. Triple garage is 8,600. Four car carriage, 
fresco and looking for something simple? Call HVM Aluminium. Are you looking for something stylish? Call HV Aluminium. Or are looking for ideas to design something stunning? If you're thinking of fresco, call or visit HV Aluminium New Lantern. 1-800-801-572. Stay warm with the winter end of season sale at Anaconda with 50% off all travel light down sleeping bags and up to 50% off all Mr. Heat affordable heaters. Play more and pay less with our 10% price fee guarantee. Anaconda! Massive swirl, cold southerly winds, freezing nights throughout the Upper Hunter. More to come, but on the bright side, there's going to be a lovely improvement over the weekend. Rain over the past 24 hours, mostly focused in between Gosford and the Macquarie Coast. Rain has been falling in the west and there's more on the way. Today, though, relatively fine for most of the country, but we saw those showers skim in along the coast thanks to that very intense low. It's a huge pressure gradient in between its centre and the higher over Tasmania. Most of the nation remains clear. The southerly winds, the huge swells set to continue and this is going to be a powerful winter front that is going to slam into the Southwest Land Division. They've got a lot on their hands with this one. Powerful winds. They'll see storms embedded in that system and a massive temperature drop as well. Well, we can uh, certainly relate to that temperature drop. It's been consistently cold throughout the southeast and more frosts on the way. Showers for the coastal areas of Sydney, chilly beginnings for Brisbane and the Alice, another freezing start on the way tomorrow. Uh, this morning it was freezing Freezing right throughout the Upper Hunter with frost maxing out at 15 and showers and drizzle skimming along the coastal fringe, mostly hitting Port Stephens and the exposed coastal areas. Very similar again throughout tomorrow. Nelson Bay, Port Stephens getting most of the rain. The southerly winds stronger along the coastal fringe, a little bit slower inland and another very cold night on the way with clear skies and the cloud focused along the coast, central coast over the lake, pushing up across Newcastle and you can see those winds wanting to bend around a little bit, so we may see those showers just a little more frequent moving in over the suburban areas to the east for tomorrow. Temperature-wise, similar again. We're looking about 7 to 15, 16 for the central coast, 15 to 17 around the Newcastle area, the lake up to Nelson Bay. Quite windy, of course, and cloudy with those cold showers moving through Port Stephens. 16 as we move inland, uh, clipping some showers for the lower hunter, upper hunter remaining fine yet again. A little bit milder, a little bit milder overnight, close to freezing though, risk of frost there yet again, and topping out at about 15, 16 at best. Another solid swell, six metres on the way, gale force wind warnings offshore. Sun's rise, 6.43, down 5.16, low tide tomorrow morning at about 10.20, six metres of swell hitting our coast. Some showers continuing, but there's the weekend, looking better, tops of 20, calmer, lovely skies overhead, very cold, remaining fine for the upper hunter but the weekend shaping up nicely and then next week another burst of coal there on its way going to the beaches big and messy out of control and dangerous most beaches are closed strong rips and currents it is not particularly friendly or inviting it is cold and blustery and set to remain that way so the first weekend of the new month looking pretty good okay thank you guys that is nbn news good night good night Thank <music> you.